Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passage of Good. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me here in the show. Today we'll be playing Ink from Digerati Games. Digerati, the people who brought us frisky business and many other stories that we've actually played here on the channel. Now, obviously, we give frisky business a, 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 a loving spanking every time we play that game because it's actually it's hilarious and frisky in its own way. Um, ink is not that. We're not going to be spanking ink anywhere. <laughs> this is actually a completely different experience. And Digerati actually do have a very wide scope of games. Uh, it kind of caught me off guard whenever I first... I thought they were just... They're going to be doing visual novels. Their game, The Coma, is actually really terrifying. It reminds me of such a fun game. Um, I'm looking forward to playing this. I want to see what Digerati have actually got added on to their actual list of cool shit that they've actually been doing on their channel. And uh, Ink looks cheerful, bright. You know, it's... It's full of color. And yes, chat, are you having fun over there? <laughs> so we're going to take a look at uh, level one of this and try it out. L to move. I completed level one! <laughs> jump. Jump. Jump, I say. Jump. Jump in every direction. So we actually got invisible levels that are actually colored by our movements. Oh, shit. <laughs> Didn't realize that actually there was a giant pit there. Might as well make it across. <laughs> Aha! Damn it! <laughs> ink introduction. Let me introduce you. So yeah, this. Is wonderfully zen. Damn it. Did you have no idea what the level layered actually is? Till after you've played it? Or after you've actually jumped around a wee bit? <laughs> I, I really like this. It reminds me of Unfinished Swan. If you haven't played that, I highly recommend checking it out. Oh, did I hit something spiky? Ah, damn it. <laughs> no, sorry, I must have double jumped him in midair. Um, if you've, if, all right, so Unfinished Swan is one of those walking puzzle simulator kind of games where you actually are spreading ink everywhere to actually paint the walls and find your path. Um, it becomes much more elaborate than that later on, but it's kind of like that's the introductory kind of like uh, premise to actually be able to see this unfinished painting and finish it yourself by actually taking part in the creation of it. Um, or uh, Beyond Eyes, which was a story about a little blind girl, which she only sees in very she only sees by via sound, so locations are only defined by rustling leaves or a swinging fence or the the scuffle of hedgehogs in the in a, in, a, in a hedge because <laughs> that's where hedgehogs live. Hedge hogs. Um, yeah, that's kind of, this kind of gives me that same sense of feeling of actually like you're exploring, but you have a purpose to be doing where you're going. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have a purpose to where you're going because you're actually using the mechanics of your, oh, the arc of the jumps a little bit weird. That's the only thing I would say. Um, the positioning of your character in the world, actually where you do your paint splats to kind of like, uh, find platforms to work from. Then we're actually just using them to find the walls across here. I know I can go and fill this up, or I could slide down it to actually make more of a paint. I just, I love the color schemes in this. This, this would make really cool screensavers. <laughs> just, I don't know why, but it's like, I, the 1995 in me is showing. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, there's a path obviously there. Oh, no. That's not good. Alright. I love the fact that it's, you don't really feel like you're, um... A failure is not a failure because you don't have to restart the level again. It's actually just kind of like part of your painting process to get to the next part. This is actually, this is very fun. It's fun in the way that I actually, ooh, what's this? Oh. Oh, I have to Mario the shit out of these? Oh, okay. So now they're actually introducing enemies a few levels in. This just gets more interesting as we go along, doesn't it? So yeah, ink is actually kind of cool. Yeah. Boom. 
Boom. Love the explosions of color from each one that you kill. Nice touch. Eep! Oh, that's kind of cool. I like the bounce. The bounce is actually pretty nice. It's really, it's actually really satisfying because it's kind of like um, a momentum bounce, which you don't get with Mario. Where, like he actually like he stops dead after he lands on things. You kind of like skim from enemy to enemy if you actually jump bounce it right. Um, the, the levels are obviously getting more and more elaborate as we go along here. So I'm assuming there's actually... Yeah, there's a wee path to get in through and... Oh, uh, nope, you can't go off the sides. Hey, screw you, call me incompetent. Son of a bitch. <laughs> so yeah, um... Ink, uh, Ink reminds me of a couple of very fun games that I've actually played in the past. It has its own thing that's doing, but because of the association, I, I can only think positive things about it. Because uh, I, I don't have anything bad to say about those other games other than maybe pacing for um, Beyond Ice. Because I've, I've played it before and I never I haven't actually finished it. Because it's one of those games that actually uh, I couldn't find. Uh, if you can't get yourself into the mindset of where you need to go, you kind of uh, have to walk away from it for a while and then come back to play it again. I'm, I'm losing this level over and over again. I I I'm not going to end on a death. I need to actually finish. Oh, I need to finish this level. So I was going to actually like stop before we actually like i got into this level but now i'm actually dedicated I'm, I'm committed i'm committed now to the point where i need to finish this one uh, all right so we got one side done isn't everything looking pretty isn't there a happy little tree over there it's actually happy little blood stains everywhere but never mind oh that was so close ah what what now we got it right um yeah Ink is fun. Ink is fun. Uh, I, I, I think Digirati are actually doing this game. I think it's actually one of the cheaper digital games. I think it's uh, three, four pound in the European stores. For a simple platform experience that kind of takes an idea, it feels like the simplicity of Thomas was alone with the la exploratory mechanics of Unfinished Swan turned into a simple platforming game. And I actually, I, I, it, for its simplicity, I actually really enjoy that. Digirati, you make, you choose some odd games to publish, but I'm liking a lot of them. So keep at it. I approve. So uh, yeah, guys, if you happen to enjoy me playing through a little bit of ink, playing through a first few levels of it, and you would like to check it out for yourselves, feel free to pick it up in the store or pick it up on Steam or whatever way you may feel like it. It's always easy to find it in some way, shape or form. And speaking of finding things, it's always easy to find me. All you have to do is look for me, just Google. Just the name, Pastiche of Skin. Once you know the name, it's really hard to forget. <laughs> it's like, most time people call me Pistachio. Not a Pistachio, a Pastiche of Skin. <laughs> um, remember those three words? Easy to search, you can always find me whenever I'm live or whenever I'm actually recording a game. And if you actually enjoy this, remember to like, comment, subscribe, notify, whatever the hell it is that actually is the basis of how to spread the word in the source that you find this on. Uh, feel free to do so. And if you happen to be watching this, particularly on YouTube, there'll be a button up there. I'd really appreciate you hitting. Over here will be a playlist, mostly the cold opens, uh, maybe something else, matter on whatever it actually might be for this particular week. But I highly recommend checking that out because it'll give you a good long list of things you can watch here on the channel that you may not have ever heard of before. Over in the far side will actually be the most recent uploads on the channel. And over here will be a video just for you, based on the news analytics and the things they do on YouTube, the cookies they collect and they munch on and find out all the things that you like and love. They can tell you if they like caramel filling, or if you're actually more of like a pop rock kind of fan. If you check out this video here, you can actually enjoy it. It'll be good. It'll be what you want to see because it's based on what you've already looked for in the past. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.